Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing with you our spring bookshelves. I'm so excited that we have our spring books out now. I know loads of you were asking me to film this video so here it is and I hope it inspires you uh, to get some new books for your bookshelves this spring as well. Okay so first up is this beautiful book. This is There's a whole series of these by Diana Hutz, Ashton and Sylvia Long. This is A Nest is Noisy. There's also ones about seeds and rocks. It's a really wonderful nature series that is quite informative actually, so it would definitely do for an older child. You can see there's quite a lot of text per page. And this goes into all sorts of nests, not just birds' nests, but also wasps' nests um, and um, reptiles and things like that too. So really interesting and great um, detailed illustrations that are really informative. So I think this is a series that definitely I'm excited to invest in as the kids get older and show um, more of an interest in um, facts and things like that. So my two children, Rupert is four and Toby is a year and three quarters. So he's mainly here for the board books. I've got my um, Shirley Hughes spring book from the nursery collection. I love these, uh, they contain a selection of seasonal poems, so this has got lots about rain and bulbs, and um, it's just something about Shirley Hughes really does appeal to children, like the illustrations are the kind of things that kids can just look at for ages. Um, love this, love this series so much, I highly recommend that you uh, try and grab some on eBay, I think they're out of print now, so you have to search for the nursery collection a little bit. But I love them and they also come with books about counting and colours and noises. It's a really fantastic collection. It's a new addition to our shelves and it's called This Little Chick by John Lawrence. And um, this is a Walker book, oh Candlewick Press, sorry. And um, I just fell in love with this. Amazing illustrations in this book. Uh, there's the pigs. And it's about a little chick that journeys through the farm and all the noises that it says. So this is obviously a great one for Toby at the age that he's at. Although my older toddler, he loves this too because the illustrations are just so incredibly bright and visual. I just love it. Um, and it's just a quick, fun read. Sometimes in the evenings, you, know, you just want an easy read that's gonna keep everyone happy and this one is definitely that. We love the Elsa Besco books and I was really excited to add this very spring themed book to our shelves this year called Pele's New Suit and it's the story about a little boy who has a pet sheep and he shears the wool and takes it to the tailor to make a new suit. It's very uh, vintage, nostalgic feel to it, um, very very charming and a lovely gentle story that sort of shows the process of um, an item of clothing from sheep to the finished product. Really like it. I think it's so sweet. The boys both went wild for this and I think they love the smaller size as well. Of course, Brambley Hedge always makes a return each and every season. This is the spring story and it is all about a picnic. And actually, as you can see, there is a lot of text to this book, so it will make a great story for older readers. I remember I adored this series when I was about eight. Um, and I really was so, so into it. So um, something that again will grow with the boys as they get older. Um, and just the illustrations in this series really does just captivate me so much and I adore it. And the author is Jill Barkland. Hey, Toby really wants to look at this book so I'm going to do this one next. It's The Little Grey Rabbit, Hare and the Easter Eggs by Alison Utterly and the pictures are illustrated by Margaret Tempest. And this is kind of quite similar to Beatrix Potter and Feel. It has those beautiful vintage oh. illustrations, um, a lovely story that you can read aloud to younger kids or um, for older children um, who are starting to read, um, they could take this off on their own. So really, really beautiful. And obviously this is a nice spring themed version. Okay, I'm gonna give that to Toby. Next up is My First Discoveries, The Egg. Now, this series of sort of science-based books, I've had my eye on for quite a while, but I thought this year I would invest in one, and we started with the egg, because I thought it would be very um, well-timed for this time of year. And as you can see, it's got actually lots of interesting facts about how eggs are made, and um, the cycle of the egg, and it has these great acetate prints as well that you can move across the pages and it's really interesting. It has a little section at the back about some of the different animals and the eggs that they create. 
Um, so yeah, really, really interesting. And the boys have gone wild for this book, way beyond my expectations. I really couldn't believe how much they love this. They, they actually fight over this book, it's really quite strange. But yes, they love this. I highly recommend it if you've got toddlers of any age. I think this is a fantastic series, but the egg is definitely a great one for spring. That Rupert is getting a bit older, he's four, I'm starting to introduce some gentle fairy tales into our seasonal books and into our general reading rhythms. And I really like this one for spring, The Little Red Hen by, this is illustrated by Paul Galdone. And um, this is that classic tale of the chicken who laid, who not laid, who planted some wheat and all her friends are very lazy and won't help her. And at the end, she eats the loaf all by herself and they learn their lesson and become much more helpful in the home. So it's a great little um, story with a nice sort of moral twist to it, I suppose. Um, and this is really nicely illustrated by Paul Galdone. Um, I will link a couple of the other ones that were on my shortlist um, in my Amazon storefront if you're looking for other versions. So of course you all know how much I love How Does the Garden Grow by Gerda Muller. This is a beautiful book that has tons of information about growing your own. Um, it's so beautiful, it's just the illustrations are incredible, there's tons of detail and yeah, even my farmer husband was really impressed with this one. Uh -oh, we have a bit of a rip there, um, but just beautiful. I highly recommend this. It's one that we've had for probably two years now, I think, and it's just amazing. I highly recommend it. And we usually have this out from spring to autumn because it's just so relevant to our life here on the farm. Okay, so next up is this book, which is The Oak Apple Wood Treasury by Jenny Partridge. This is a vintage book. I actually think this is out of print now, but it reminds me a little bit of Brambley Hedge in that it's uh, the stories of these little animals and it's got lovely illustrations again, kind of similar to Brambley Hedge. Lovely big writing actually in this edition, great for early readers. And the stories are just very sweet. Um, Rupert adores this book. I mean, he's absolutely in love with it. And so I do really recommend trying to get a secondhand copy if you can. I think it's just a really nice addition to a children's bookshelf. And of course this isn't particularly spring based, but I just think it's a really charming book to have on bookshelves. Of course I've still got my I Am The Seed That Grew The Tree, so if you want to have a peek inside that book, go back and watch some of my other seasonal bookshelf videos because I have peek insides for that book in those videos. But since I have so many more books to get through, I'm just gonna leave that for now and uh, keep going. I have The Return of Pippa and Pele. This is their spring garden version. And I have Pippa and Pele every season in our bookshelves. It is so loved. Um, really sweet story of these two little gnomes, I think they are, and their adventures through the seasons. Great for a young toddler and a nice little gentle, easy to read story. So a great quick read at bedtime. This one, this is from the library. It's Peter Rabbit's A Spring Surprise. And I actually really like these new versions. I think the illustrations are actually very sweet. The stories are lovely and very um, appropriate for toddlers. And I like the board books as well because it means that they can go off and read it on their own. And this one has some cute ducklings in it, so very appropriate for spring. The board book is The East Egg by Jan Brett. This book has such detailed illustrations. It's just fantastic um, to really spend time looking at. But it's the story of this bunny rabbit who is trying to find how he can decorate his egg the best. So he goes and visits all his friends and in the end he actually ends up saving a little robin's egg and um, the Easter Bunny is really, really proud of him at the end. So um, a really sweet story. I love that this is a board book again. It just makes it so easy when I want the boys to have some independent reading. Um, the board books are fantastic for that. Obviously in spring there is so much seed sowing happening so I love to bring out this book by Ruth Brown, Ten Seeds. This has beautiful thick paper that's kind of like card and the illustrations in this are just mind-bogglingly good. <laughs> I love it. Look at the detail in that. It's so gorgeous. The boys just adore reading this. It is very very visual, simple and also has a little bit of counting in it. Um, but yes, I am such a fan of this book. I think it's just magical and so well done. I've had this book, Plant a Tiny Seed by Christine Matson, 
um, on my wish list for so long and this year I decided to go and grab it and so far it's been such a hit with my children. How it works is it's kind of like an interactive story where you tap certain bits of the page, um, rub certain bits, chop and that kind of thing and every time you do those actions something else happens and um, so the plants grow or flower or you can chop off the stems and I love this concept it's so fun and different and it makes reading the story so exciting I think for children Rupert is just crazy about this book it's been a great hit um, and I do think this will be a nice favourite that will come out each year. I've got Little Bear's Spring by Ellie Woolard and Bryony Mae Smith. This is another new book for us this year and it tells the story of a little bear who's very lonely and he goes out to find a friend. He ends up finding this little stone and he sort of walks through the wood and it's quite scary and dark and wintry. But at the end he actually finds out that his stone is a chick and so he has spring fun with his new chick pal and it's very cute. Makes a great read, it's been very successful so far for us and I love the colours in this book, I think it's just so beautifully illustrated. So it definitely gets the thumbs up from us. Next up is Spring Is Here by Heidi Pross Gray. This is a small little book, paperback, that has just little things about spring. So um, when little furry animals yawn and stretch, they can then come out to play after their long winter nap, spring is here. So it kind of just repeats that story. So there's nests and eggs, bright flowers, seeds. Um, again, a really nice one for toddlers because it's just so simple and just highlights all the things that they love about spring, which I really like. A Ton of Mud by Mary Lynn Ray. Um, this is also out of print, I do believe. A very simple story about the return of spring and all about gooey, mucky mud and got really great illustrations that kids adore looking at and lots of descriptive words for squelching in mud um, so yeah, we love this one I'm always really excited to bring this back out because it just really does sum up Rupert's love for mud <laughs> A little board book, this is Daisy and the Hungry Duck by Evelyn Von Dort and Margin Von Zyl um, this is a story of Daisy the duck who goes on a little adventure with her friends and she gets a bit lost at the end and then she finds her way back home and she gets to eat lots of lovely pears. Um, it's a really sweet story. We are doing lots about ducks at the moment so this was a perfect addition to our bookshelves and the boys adore it. Got Dawn Chorus by Suzanne Barton. I have the winter version of this. Um, which is something like, I can't remember quite what it's called, but something like Robin, Winter's, Robin's Winter. Um, but this is, follows the same kind of idea of this bird that is trying to discover what um, the dawn chorus is and trying to find its voice. So it's got a really nice storyline to it, lovely pictures, very sweet, um, and a lovely one to talk about in the dawn chorus and birds with young children. A little addition from Floris Books. This is Sybil von Olfer's The Story of the Root Children. Um, this is such a gorgeous book to read to your children when you're doing any kind of um, projects or seed sowing or anything like that. And it's the stories of these little seeds or root children and they prepare for spring and they get these new beautiful colourful coats and then they emerge the surface as flowers. This is perfect if you have children who love those felt flower fairies because I feel like it ties in really well. So we love that. Cr Crinkle, Crackle, Crack, It's Spring by Marion Dane Bower and illustrated by John Shelley. Now the reason I picked up this one in particular was we loved Winter Dance so much. That was the lovely little hardback book that we had by the same author, Marion Dane Bower, and I think it was actually the favourite book for winter and it took me so by surprise but it ended up being such a beautiful book to read aloud and I actually really miss it so we ended up picking up this it's not as good but it's still a lovely book and the illustrations so they're done by different illustrator they are gorgeous and it reminds me a little bit of the Little Bear's Spring book it's got the same kind of like theme to it where there's this bear and um, this little child goes out and they go walking through the wood 
which kind of kind of freaked me out as a mum because I was like I, de I definitely don't want my children to go out in the night <laughs> walking um but um yeah and they go on this little adventure there's these all these sounds and they come across these spring creatures and at the end there's a big egg and it explodes and it's spring <laughs> so it's a very cute story the boys have really enjoyed this so far like I said it's not as good as winter dance unfortunately but it's still a lovely book I have my Winstone Press spring collection of poems songs and stories for young children now I have the autumn edition of this and I loved it and then when it came to winter, I decided not to bother with it, but I really regretted it and I missed it loads. So I ended up getting the spring edition. Now this book is definitely for parents. As you can see, it's just black and white inside. But what it has are really sweet, short seasonal poems. And um, there's some music there, if any of you play music, that you can do alongside the stories. And then there's also um, short stories at the back. And I just really enjoy these editions. They usually come as well with some seasonal postcards which is really nice so um yeah i love this book on the home stretch Tavy is walking around with a cookie and with the little gray rabbits book uh, that you can see him in the background trying to put it back um okay so as part of our exploring nature with children curriculum we actually did a bit on worms but i wanted to keep some of the worm books up on the shelves as well um and this one i just think is lovely the illustrations are so sweet yeah and it has a nice little story in it that's very informative and you can see there it's got like the anatomy of the worm and yeah i just wanted to spend a bit more time with this book so i've kept it back for us to read together throughout spring and also it's that time of year that whenever we're outside digging around and planting things there's tons of worms about so um, i thought this was very appropriate okay so finally is a book that's actually from my childhood and it's rosemary wells max's chocolate chicken and this is a book that really i chose just because it was so nostalgic to me and it's just the pictures and everything just really bring me back to my own childhood so i wanted to read this with the boys purely for selfish reasons but um it's a story of this little chocolate chicken that the easter bunny puts down that's the easter bunny and um, max and his sister ruby um have to go on an easter egg hunt but max is quite naughty and he does lots of naughty things like playing with ants and mud puddles and then eventually he goes and steals the chocolate chicken and eats it um and then the easter bunny ends up giving a new chocolate duck this time so it's it's an absolutely random story <laughs> but it really does make me feel like so nostalgic that's why i got it okay so that is all the spring books um that we've got for this year i hope you enjoyed that um if you've got any questions or recommendations leave them in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you love seasonal living then make sure you head over and check out my patreon account every month we have a live zoom call where we plan the season ahead and the month ahead so it's fantastic for anyone who wants to really delve into slow living and seasonal living um, so do check that out I'll link it below and it's a great way of supporting the YouTube channel and podcast and everything um, so thank you for anyone who's already a supporter over there okay we're gonna go and uh, yeah and get out and enjoy some sunshine it stopped raining which is fantastic and I hope you all have a lovely day too bye